Hi, Faith Fox family. Lacey here with you on day 22 of the month of Legacy. And our scripture today comes from Luke 12, 19 through 20. And I'll sit back and say to myself, my friend, you have enough stored away for years to come. Now take it easy, eat, drink, and be merry. But God said to him, you fool, you will die this very night. Then who will get everything you worked for? This passage comes from a famous parable told by Jesus. In the story, there was a man who had incredible wealth and financial success. Now that he'd achieved his financial goals, he planned on sitting back and enjoying his spoils all to himself. Little did he know his life would end that night and his hard work would be for naught. The lesson is simple. Greed will rob us of the opportunity to leave a financial legacy. The more we view our financial earnings as something that should only benefit us, the less likely we are to make a difference of any kind. But the inverse is also true. When we view our material goods as a gift from God that blesses both us and others, we'll leave behind a powerful legacy. Um, one of the reasons why I chose this devotional um, today was because a few years back, my husband lost his job. Um, the factory he worked at moved to Mexico, um, and that was a really hard time for us. Um, but uh, the state paid for him to be able to get some more education, and so he uh, went to power line school and has since then finished his apprenticeship and become a power lineman. Um, and with that comes uh, some financial benefits, and it's a really well-paying job. And since that happened, we have been able to help a lot of people um, that have are going through situations that we went through. And um, I just feel like the legacy that I want to leave my boys is that when God gives you um, an abundance, that you should um, pass that on to others and um, help meet other people's needs. And, um, this devotional just really spoke to me. Um, money can be a pretty sensitive topic, but Jesus speaks about money a lot. And, um, the thing that really can hinder us in this world is, um, finances and money and the importance that we place on it. So, um, if we're willing to look at our abundance as a gift from God that we can pass on to others, um, then I think that's just one, uh, stumbling block that we remove between us and God. Um, but I really hope you guys enjoy this devotional as much as I did, and I'm looking forward to the rest of this month. Have a blessed day.